Why am I not American enough? Am I Chinese enough? He says I'm the worst of both worlds. 大家好，我的名字叫 Ethan Hurd. I'm the director of our production, Soft Power. The show is about democracy, and it's about the 2016 election, and it's about being Chinese American and Asian American. And it asks these questions about who does the American dream really belong to? Is it really accessible and inclusive of everyone, including Asian Americans? This show has evolved a lot over the last seven or eight years.、Um, David and Janine started working on it in 2016. Initially, Hillary Clinton was going to be the president within the show, and then, sure enough, she lost that presidential election in real life, and so David and Janine rewrote their show to reflect. The reality. One of the reasons we wanted to produce it here and now was certainly the election. It would be so exciting to revisit the story and the mythology of Hillary Clinton in the 2016 election here and now, because Hillary Clinton paved the way for Kamala, and you can feel that when you watch the show. Finding the tone of the comedy and the satire was tricky because we wanted it to be bold and vivid and colorful and larger than life. It's also real. So, for instance, I think it was our first or second week of rehearsal. We were looking at photographs from the Republican National Convention and realizing, oh, some of the folks at this convention, the way they're behaving, the clothes they're wearing, the hats they're wearing, are very close to what our costume design is, even though. Our costume design was meant to be exaggerated. We had to experiment sometimes, you know, and figure out what is funny, what's scary, and keep it also grounded and real because we wanted the message of the show not to be a joke. It's also talking about a hate crime, real political violence, and real racism. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome the next president of the United States. For this version, we decided to cast an Asian American woman as Hillary Clinton to see a woman of color sing the 11 o'clock number, to see Grace sing, "I believe in democracy. We have the power to change." It's very powerful. Working on the show for the past year. Has been so rewarding and so personally exciting because working on David's story, I feel like I've gotten to know my mom's story more. I was born in Washington D.C. My mom is Chinese.、Uh, her parents came over from mainland China in 1947. She was born in Houston, Texas, and my dad is a white American. It's such a powerful moment in the show when the character D.H.H. within his own dream has been stabbed by. A white supremacist, and David collapses on the floor, and he asks himself, you know, why am I not American enough? Am I Chinese enough? I'm not either. He says, I'm the worst of both worlds. So many of us in the company, I think, have struggled with this feeling and question of being Asian American. In my case, you know, I'm Chinese. And I'm white. Am I allowed to claim my Chineseness if I'm tall and maybe white passing in some situations? And then, of course, we're also wrestling with the dream of our country that this is a melting pot where people can come and they can feel a sense of belonging. But is that really coming true for everyone? More than really, almost any show I've directed, this story and the questions within it have reverberated and sort of challenged me as an artist to dig deep. While there is a ton of make believe, and the show predominantly is a fever dream that is occurring in David Henry Huang's imagination, at the end it becomes very visceral and very real. It really does ask the actors at the end of the show to strip off their wigs and their Costumes and stand in front of the audience as themselves, as authentic Asian Americans, singing for a better world and a better country, and singing directly to the audience, inspiring us to go vote, inspiring us to fight for our democracy. 